Carolina. It's their turn on the possession. So they'll inbound here at the midcourt. 32-27, Carolina by five. Doherty had eight in the first half. Kenny Smith had 10 for the Jackets. Mark Price had 10. Joseph had eight. By the way, Kenny Smith and Mark Price are even in the high point men of the tournament so far. They both have 44 apiece. Pass into Kenny Smith. Picked up by Mark Price. Both guarding each other in this big ball game. On the right wing, the big Warren Martin. Martin dribbles against Sally, taking a man to man. To Hale in the corner against Harrop of the Wolf. Wolf against Petway. Doherty against at the top of the key against Big Joseph. They go to Wolf on the right wing. Wolf working underneath the Smith. Smith to Warren Martin. Left side. Hale's 15 foot jumper. Good. Boy, Hale now has eight points. 34 27. Yellow Jackets trail by seven. Back on the attack. Here's Mark Price. Price looks at Carolina's man to man defense. Petway on the right wing. To the right of the key to Sally. They go left side to Darrepel. Darrepel. And let's see. A foul is called, I believe, against Kenny Smith for holding. Smith got a piece of Mark Price who got around a pick. And Smith pleading his case. He'll pick up his second personal, first team foul of this half. That's Kenny Smith's second personal foul. Out of bounds for Scott Petway and the Jackets from the end zone. Out of bounds, play set up. Pass it to Mark Smith in the corner. Low post to Sally. Sally double team. Joseph goes around. Here's Petway on these. His layup shot is no good. Rebounded by Sally. We have a jump ball. Out of bounds for the Jackets. Bruce Dalrymple's on the bench right now. John Martinson was put in his place. And Dalrymple didn't warm up much to start the second half either. I wonder if he's a little extra tired or if Bobby just wants to talk to him about something. Pass in to Joseph. Joseph faking, double teamed out this Petway. Petway looking way out to John Martinson, the young freshman, to Price on the right wing. Against the man-to-man, -man, right of the key to Sally. They go left side to Petway. That way to Mark Price, top of the key, right side to Martinson. Here's Joseph in the paint. He'll have to get out of there, and he does on the dribble. Out to Petway at the top of the key. Shot clock down to 24 seconds. Here's Sally low post. His shot is up, no good, and a foul. Sally fouled in the act of shooting. By Doherty, his second. And now Dalrymple's going to check back in. So whatever it was, he and Bobby Kremens had discussion about something, and Bruce is back in there. To the gift lane goes John Spider Sally, one out of two from the charity stripe in the first half. And Sally, as you know, has had his troubles. 63%. He's hitting 63, 64% from the field. His first of two is no good. Sally, a junior, a seven-footer out of Brooklyn, New York, Tech Trails, 34-27, 18-49 on the clock in the championship game. Sally's second of two is good. So Sally has eight, 34, 28. Jackets trail by six, full court press on. They pass to Wolf in the offensive zone and break the press. Wolf works to Martin in the left corner against Joseph. The Jackets turn the man to man. Oh, way out court to Doherty. Doherty picked up by Sally. Top of the key to Smith. They go left side to Wolf. Wolf drives the left baseline. Contained there, double team. Here's Hale left of the key. Passing underneath, intercepted by Joseph. Joseph lost the ball. Loose ball picked up by Joseph. And Joseph passing to Mark Price. Price on the dribble, passing a timeline. In the offensive zone, 34-28, Tech trails by six. Way out court in the left wing to Scott Petway. Carolina, man to man on the defense. Low post, and the pass is kicked by Carolina out of bounds for the Jackets front court. Fresh 45 on the shot clock with 18.09 to go in the game. From the end zone, Scott Petway will pass in. Petway, alley open to Sally, and let's see the official call. Calls too long, five seconds against Petway, and the Jackets are making a lot of mental mistakes out here this afternoon. Pass into Smith. Tech trails 34-28. Here's Kenny Smith walking it up, passing a timeline, picked up by Mark Price. Works the right wing to Big Warren Martin. Martin comes out to Doherty at the point guard position. Doherty on the dribble, right of the key, stops his dribble to Hale. Hale's pass is knocked from Sally to Price. Price on the dribble. Price goes all the way, pulls up, turns around, and is guarded by Doherty. Works it out to Bruce Dalrymple on the left wing. Bruce on the dribble. Out to Mark Price. Price on the dribble. Price on the right wing against that man-to-man -man defense. Low post this time to Joseph. Joseph double team. Dalrymple in the paint. Pulls up. Pumps a 10-footer. No good. In and out of there. Boy, Bruce had one, but it would not fall. Here's Smith on the dribble in the right corner. Way out court to Martin at the foul lane. Martin in the corner to Smith. Smith drives that right baseline. 
Out to Hale. Hale picked up by Price this time on the switch. Here's Martin in a foul that's called against Georgia Tech. Bruce Darrell, I believe. That's three. Odd uh, Bruce. Bruce doesn't seem to be his old self, Brad. No, he's had two great games coming into this. Maybe it took something out of him. Out of bounds for Carolina from the end zone. Kenny Smith, your trigger man. The Hale. Hale, we out court on the right side to Doherty. That motion offense, they very seldom put that ball down on the floor. They hold the ball high over the heads, and it's a passing game for Dean Smith's ball club. Boy, Wolf and Petway going at it underneath. Hale passing to Smith, top of the key. Left wing to Big Joe Wolf. Wolf to Hale on the baseline, a little 10-footer. No good. Taken out of the air by Big Yvonne Joseph. Joseph to Price. Tech trails 34-28. Here's Darrell on the right wing. Darrell out to Joseph at the foul lane. Joseph to Petway. Petway out, dribbles out, court in the left wing. Smith all over Mark Price. All right, Petway will set it up and run the show. On the left wing to Mark Price. Price on the dribble against Smith. Price works a low post to Joseph. He turns around, picked up by Mark, lost the ball out of bounds, knocked out of his hand, out of bounds for Georgia Tech. Tech now has caused two North Carolina turnovers and had Carolina miss, so they've got to start putting some of this to use. They need one here to break this ice. 16-29 on the clock in the second half. Dalrymple to Sally. Sally left to the key. Works to Bruce on the left wing. Dalrymple comes out on the left side. He'll run the traffic patterns now. Swings to the right wing to Petway. Petway way out court to Sally. Sally down the alley. Sally's 10-foot jumper rolls around. No good rebounded by Big Warren Martin. Sally has missed two shots in the ball game. Here's Smith on the dribble. Picked up by Price, left of the key. Works to Big Joe Wolf. Wolf low post. Doherty shot from the low post. No good. And a foul on the play. And Doherty will go to the get play. Sally got him underneath. Doherty will go to the line. He's a good free throw shooter. 75 for 74 percent. Two team fouls apiece here in the second half. 34-28, Carolina. 16 minutes remaining in the championship game, and Doherty at the gift lane for two. Let's watch the big 6'11 junior. His free throw. Good. At the start of the ball game, we had only one senior starting here of the 10 players in the starting lineup, Scott Pentway. So it shows you the powerful ACC will be next year. Doherty. His free throw is in the air. Good. And we had an official timeout with the score. North Carolina 36, Georgia Tech 28. You're listening to the WGST Georgia Tech Basketball Network. We're back again at the Omni now. 16 minutes left to go in the second half. And Tech still hasn't scored a basket here in the second half. We played four minutes. The only point they have is a free throw. They've had a golden opportunity to get back into it, too, because North Carolina has turned it over several times here in the second half. And some missed shots by North Carolina, but Tech just can't come down and score. And now they're down by eight points with 16 minutes, and suddenly the clock is becoming one of their enemies as well, and they've just got to start putting the ball in the basket. It's as simple as that. They've taken 29 shots compared to only 25 for North Carolina. The problem is, though, they've only made 10 out of those 29 for 34%. Carolina, on the other hand, is shooting 56% right now, 14 out of 25. So it's almost now or never for Georgia Tech with 16 minutes remaining and down by eight. All right, when time is in, it'll be out of bounds for Georgia Tech in the backcourt. 36-28, Carolina, 16 minutes, a lot of time in the big championship ball game at the Omni, 16,723 looking on. Sally passing into Price. Price on the attack slowly against the retreating Kenny Smith. They try to get a trap on Mark now. Passing to Petway. They, Petway on the dribble over to Darrymple. Darrymple underneath this layup shot is up. No good. Tap is up and in by Petway. Fine tap in. Stick back by Petway. 36-30. They solved the trap that time for an easy two points. 36-30. Carolina by six. Kenny Smith down the paint. Pulls up. Double team by Price. Also with Petway. Way out to Hale. Hale, long range on the right side. To the left side of the court to Doherty. They go to the left corner to Smith. Smith out of the corner on the dribble. Works to Hale. Low post to Martin. Stolen by Petway. Petway on the dribble. Scott playing a four game. Petway goes all the way to that right corner. Lost the ball out of bounds. Hale came right back on the other end and did to Petway what Petway did to Martin. Got a hand enough to lose the handle and that's a big turnover. Long pass to Joe Wolf, his 10-foot jumper, no good. Rebounded by Big Yvonne Joseph. Over to Price on the outlet pass, Price on the dribble. Price in the offensive zone, dribbles into the corner, low post to Sally. Sally turns around, his shot is blocked by Martin. Pass tipped back into the hands of Hale that time by Sally. 
Boy, and Bobby Crimmins really hot about the last call. No foul called on the last play. Sally, according to Bobby, was really roughed up in the shooting situation. Pass to Wolf. Wolf underneath. Turn around jumper. Good. 38-30. Back on the attack for Georgia Tech is Mark Price. Price had 10 points in the first half, hasn't scored here in the second half. Price to Darrymple. Darrymple on the dribble on the left wing. Top of the key to Sally. Sally to Mark Price. Price pulls up right of the key. Works to Petway. Petway in a corner. Out court to Darrymple. Darrymple out to Mark Price on the left side. Long range. Low post to Joseph. Joseph underneath. The shot is up. No good. Stick back is up and in by Bruce Darrymple. And fourth point of the game for Bruce. 38-32. Jackets trail by six. Driving goes Joe Wolf. Wolf to Doherty. His bunny shot is up. No miss. No good. Wolf sticks back. And let's see. A foul is called underneath. Foul on, I believe, Sally. See what Joe Forte calls. Yeah, Spider Sally picks up the foul. A second. 13 foul against the Jackets here in the second half. Carolina, two team fouls. One shot foul out of bounds for Carolina from the end zone. 38-32. Carolina by six. Pass into Hale. Hale drives. He's called. Let's see what the official calls. A foul, I believe, on the play. Joe Forte calls a foul against Carolina. On Wolf. Joe Wolf trying to get position inside. Bump somebody. That's his second. Boy, he's been going at it with Petway. 13 foul. Price on the dribble. 38-32. Tech trails by six. Petway on the right wing against Carolina's man-to-man -man defense. Petway out to Darrymple, top of the key. Bruce on the left wing. Price fakes, goes by his man, pumps a 15-footer. Good. Mark Price with 12 points. 38-34. Carolina back on the attack. Here's Ken Smith walking, passing a timeline. Works on the right wing to Joe Wolf. Wolf out howling to the jacket defense. Wolf double team out to Hale. Hale in the corner to Joe Wolf again on the right side. Low post to Doherty. Doherty lost the ball. Loose ball picked up by Mark Price. Price on the dribble. Price over to Darrymple. Buddy by Darrymple. He's blocked beautifully by North Carolina. Price comes up with a loose basketball. Boy, Bobby Crimmins again is really hollering at the official. Sally, top of the key. Sally to Darrymple. Darrymple, 15 footer. Good. Hey, now Bruce is playing basketball. 38-36. Tech trails by two. Clock six. 12.55 remaining in the ball game. Here's Kenny Smith on the dribble. Top of the key. Into the paint. Reverses. Way out court to Hale. Hale to Doherty on the right baseline. Doherty way out to Wolf. Wolf driving against Petway. Contain. Here's Smith against Price. Into the paint. And let's see if the official calls a blocking foul against Georgia Tech. That hurts. It's on Dalrymple and that's four. fourth team foul against Georgia Tech. Out of bounds for Carolina. Bobby goes to his bench. He tells Jack Mansell to report to the scores table. Dalrymple oh. looked at Bobby Krim and said, Coach, give me one more minute. Give me another minute. I won't foul anybody. But you can't be worrying about that along the way because Tech's going to need him down the stretch. They've cut it to two. This is a good time to substitute. Hobson passing in to Kenny Smith in the offensive zone. Kenny on the left wing, the Doherty way out court, got it by Joseph. Underneath the hail, hail, passing back out, intercepted by Sally. Sally giving off the price. Tech can tie the ball game up. Tech has yet to be in the lead this ball game. They trail 38-36. Let's watch the little quarterback direct traffic. The coach on the court. Here's Mark Price on the left wing, way out to Petway. Petway top of the key. High post to Jack Mansell. Petway comes to the right side on the dribble. Petway to Joseph. Joseph at the top of the key. Shot clock down at 21 seconds. Joseph gives off to Petway. Tech slowing the tempo down. They trail 38-36. Here's Sally at the foul lane. Sally on the dribble. Pulls up. Cross court to Petway. 12 seconds. And Petway's pass intercepted by Hale. Hale's pass to Kenny Smith. Smith passing a timeline. 11.46 on the clock and a good ball game brewing here. A good defensive struggle. 38-36. Carolina. And another foul is called. Blocking foul against Carolina. Joe Wolf again. I tell you, Petway giving away four inches is doing some kind of job down low on Joe Wolf, and Wolf's trying to use his height advantage and his body to his advantage. It isn't working for him. 
11.40 to go. Title game of the ACC. It's Carolina by two. We'll be back in a moment on the WGSD Georgia Tech Basketball Network. All right, here at the Omni, 11.40 remaining in the ball game now. Georgia Tech will have the ball, trailing by two, 38 to 36. That's as close as they've been since the very early going when it was two to nothing, North Carolina out in front. So Tech's got the opportunity here. They forced a lot of turnovers. Carolina's turned it over 16 times compared to only eight for Georgia Tech. However, Tech's got Bruce Dalrymple on the bench right now. He has four fouls. Remember, Carolina turned it over a number of times back here in the final regular season game for Georgia Tech here at the Omni. I think they had 21 turnovers, something like that. And Georgia Tech wants to cause a few more. Both teams have 14 fouls here in the second half. Boy, this crowd really trying to get the Jackets in the ball game. 38-36, Carolina. Carolina shows Georgia Tech no full court press, no trapping. All right, Mark Smart. Mark Price on the attack. Smith will pick him up in the timeline. He works on the left wing, long range to Scott Petway. Petway on the dribble. Petway, alley-oop to Sally, it's good! High ball game fans, beautiful pass. The alley-oop to Spider. Spider with a slam jam. 38-38, brother and sister hang on. We've got a thriller growing at the Omni in the championship ball game. Here's Kenny Smith, top of the key on the left wing to Doherty. Doherty picks up by Joseph, second a man to man. The big Warren Martin, his pass is wild, out of bounds. Out of bounds for the Jackets. Martin tried to find Kenny Smith on the back door. Smith had a half step on Price, but the pass was wild. And Tech's got an opportunity to lead, and if they get it, look out. Here's Mark Price on the attack, slowly walking it down, passing a timeline. Carolina stays in a man-to-man. -man. Mark on the dribble, top of the key, left of the key, pulls up a 17-footer. No good. Rebounded. By, let's see, out of bounds. It went out of bounds. It hit a Georgia Tech man out of bounds for North Carolina. Fighter Sally tried to save it in the corner, just couldn't quite find the handle. 38-38. Puck kicks. 10-50, a lot of time in the championship game. Here's Kenny Smith passing a timeline in the offensive zone. The Jackets man to man. He gives off to Warren Martin on the right wing. Out to Kenny. Kenny on the dribble. Low post to Doherty. And Price underneath is fouling Doherty. And for the Jackets, their 15 foul. It'll be out of bounds for Carolina. Boy, as tough a defense as Mark Price has played throughout this tournament. You believe that's his first foul today. He's been all over Kenny Smith, and that's his first one. Dalrymple's coming back in. Time to go with Bruce as you hear the chance in the background and Jack Mansell will come out. He didn't hurt Tech at all being in there, but Dalrymple, of course, has had a great, great tournament. Tech needs him in there. Out to be passed in from the end zone by Kenny Smith. The out-of-bounds play to Doherty in the left offensive corner. Way out to Hale. Hale against Bruce Dalrymple playing with four personal fouls. To Kenny Smith against Price. Low post to Big Warren Martin. Martin dribbles once, stops, pumps a 10-footer. Good. Carolina takes the lead. 40-38. Clock six at 10:21 remaining in the ball game. Here's Mark Wright. Swings to the right wing to Petway. Carolina stays in the man-to-man. -man. Right of the key to Sally. Sally on the left wing to Bruce Darrymple. Darrymple to Price. Price at the top of the key in the dribble. Back to Darrymple. Darrymple's 15-footer. No good. Rebounded by Darrymple. Stick back by Darrymple. No good. Rebounded by Hale. And Darrymple had two in close shots. Missed them both. Here's Smith on the dribble. Carolina 40. Tech 38. Crowd roaring on every play. 9.52 on the clock. Here's Doherty. Dribbles to the left of the key. Holds the ball high over his head. To Kenny Smith. Smith on the dribble. Out to Big Warren Martin. Martin to Smith at the top of the key. Smith on the dribble. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Hale on the wing. Here's to Martin. Martin against Sally. Turns around. Passing Hale on the baseline. Hale passing to Martin on the baseline. Pass intercepted by Mark Price. Price on the dribble. Price goes over to Darrymple. Darrymple lost the ball. Foul against Hale. There's Boy. another time, Brad, I think that Price should have went in. He'd have been fouled or got the basket. That's right. And sometimes he and Dalrymple get down there doing their act together, and they get too unselfish. We talked about it before. And Hale, with a nice defensive play, got a lot of ball, but he got a little of Dalrymple, and that's good news for Georgia Tech. 15 foul against North Carolina. Out of bounds for the Jackets. Petway will pass in, 40-38, North Carolina, 9.25 on the clock. Checking in for Carolina, Curtis Hunter, out of Durham, North Carolina. 6'4", sophomore, replacing Joe Wolf. 
Ooh, Green, he's been a hatchet man with three personal fouls. Cutway will pass in to Dalrymple. Dalrymple, low post. Sally shot is up, and he missed an easy one. And a foul in the play. Sally to the gift line for two. Well, they finally call when I warned Martin. Warren's been in Brighton John's jersey most of the game, and that's four on Martin. 16 foul against Carolina. That's the big key factor there. Here's Joe Wolf right back in for big Warren Martin. Wasn't a very long rest for Joe Wolf, was it? Wolf's got three, Martin four. And the only two people in any sort of foul trouble for Carolina. Here's John Sally at the free throw line. Sally for two. His first of two. Cut. Oh, that thing hung around the rim and dropped in a lot of iron. But cut. 40-39. Jackets trail by one. Sally's second of two. Cut. 40-40. Tie game, fan. Puck ticks. 9.20 remaining in the ball game. Sally converting two. Here's Kenny Smith against Tex man to man on the right wing to Joe Wolf. Back to Kenny Smith. Kenny on the left side pulls up, faking cross court pass. Here's Curtis Hunter. Hunter to Hale. Hale, 10 foot jumper, no good. Rebounded. Out court by Hunter. Hunter to Hale. Hale to Doherty. Doherty double teamed. His shot is up, no good. Rebounded and a big scramble out of bounds for Carolina from the end zone. Boy, the jacket's going to the board, and Hank Nichols warning Dean Smith, the next time I get that verbal abuse, two <laughs> shots. All right, here's Kenny Smith. will pass in way out court to Wolf. 40-40. Clock ticks. 8.50 remaining in a ball game. Here's Kenny Smith against Mark Bright. Low post to Doherty. Doherty against Joseph. Way out to Wolf. Right of the key. Wolf on the dribble into the foul lane. Out to Kenny Smith. Smith's 22-footer good. Boy, 12 points for Kenny Smith. Carolina 42, Georgia Tech 40. Buck ticks at 8.33 remaining in the ball game. On the dribble, Mark Price passing a timeline. Swings to the right wing to Petway. Carolina goes man to man to Price. Left side to Bruce Dalrymple playing with four personal fouls. Top of the key to Petway to Bruce Dalrymple on the left wing. Bruce looking in, dribbling out court. He works the corner to Mark Price. Price on the left corner, low post. It's time to Joseph. Joseph's shot is up, no good. Stick back by Joseph is up, no good. He missed two easy ones. Oh, Big Yvonne missed an easy stick back. 42-40, Carolina. Here's Kenny Smith to Doherty, top of the key. Back to Kenny Smith. Low post to Wolf. Wolf turns around, hook shot by Wolf is good. Four points for Wolf, 44-40, Carolina by four. Clock ticks, 7.50 remaining. And a timeout for Georgia Tech. Carolina, 44, Georgia Tech, 40. Talk show 750 remaining in the ball game. You're listening to the WGST Georgia Tech Basketball Network. Well, we're down to 747 remaining, and Carolina is out in front again by four points after there were two ties, 38-38 and 40-40. Tech had an opportunity to tie it at 42. Yvonne Joseph missed one shot, got his own rebound, put up a layup, missed that too. Carolina came down and scored. That could be a key point of the ball game right there, too, if we look back on it, if things end up the way they are right now. Carolina out front by four. The next Carolina foul will result in shots for Georgia Tech. Tech has five fouls against them right now with 7.47 remaining. The shooting, though, still awful. 15 out of 41, only 37%. Carolina's only taken 33 shots, but they've made 18 of them for 55%. Carolina shot selection a little better than Georgia Tech. But the Jackets have missed the easy gimme. The time is in. It'll be out of bounds for Georgia Tech front court. 44-40. Yellow Jackets trail by four. And Bobby Cribbins really working and walking in front of that Tech bench. Petway will be your trigger man front court. Out of bounds play is set up. To Mark Price. Price against Kenny Smith. They try to get a trap on Mark now. They double-team him over to Bruce Dalrymple. Dalrymple to Price. They go back out of their trapping zone defense. Now back to the man-to-man. -man. Here's Mark Price on the right wing to Sally. At top of the key, they go to Joseph, who's come out. The big boys have come out. Joseph left to the key, gives off to Mark Price. Buck kicks, 725 remaining. 44-40. Carolina by four. Here's Mark Price on the right wing, pulls up on the dribble. Way out to the top of the key. They go left side. On the wing to Bruce Dalrymple. Bruce playing with four persons to Sally. Sally at the foul lane. Here's the Bruce Darrymple. Darrymple's 10-foot jumper. Good! Beautiful shot by Darrymple that time with a man on him. Eight points for Bruce. 44-42. Carolina by two. 
Bruce Darrell has come alive here in the second half. Here's Kenny Smith, driving to the top of the key, swings to the left wing to Hale. Hale to Wolf. Wolf, they swing over to Kenny Smith, right of the key. Now to Doherty, left of the key. Doherty holds the ball high over his head. 6.50 on the clock in the ball game. Here's Hale into the right corner to Smith. Smith comes out of that corner against Mark Fight. Here's Curtis Hunter. Hale, 15 footer. No good. Rebounded by Darrell. Tech can tie with the basket here. Darrell goes all the way to that right corner. Darrell contained. Way out court to Petway. Petway to low post to Sally. Sally to Petway. Petway dribbles to the left of the key. The Sally low post. They double team and Sally goes around. His shot is up and no good. Boy, Sally. Just another one underneath the jacket's not hitting on the easy shot. 44-42. Carolina by two. Clock tick, 6-14 remaining in the ballgame. On the right wing, the big Joe Wolf against Sally. He works to Hunter at the foul lane. Hunter to Smith, low post. Turnaround jumper by Doherty is good. 12 points for Brad Doherty. And again, Carolina by four. 46-42. Clock six at 5-59 remaining in the ballgame. Here's Mark Smith. Mark Price on the attack in the offensive zone. Works over to Bruce Taylor up a long range. Carolina now going to the zone defense. Carolina's in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. On the left wing, Darrell to Petway. Petway to, on the baseline of Big Yvonne Joseph. Joseph out to Petway to Mark Price. Price on the dribble, pulls up, gets off to Petway. Now here's Mark Price's 22-footer. No good rebounded by Joseph. Joseph, 10-foot jumper good. Mark missed one, and Joseph came back. 46-44. Tech trails by two again. Puck kick. 523 remaining in a championship game. Here's Kenny Smith on the attack. Jackets go man to man on the left wing. Long range to Brad Doherty. Doherty to Wolf. Top of the key. Doherty on the Wolf on the dribble. Pulls up against Sally. Way out to Hale. Hale against Darrell with four personal foul. Here's Big Joe Wolf on the right side. On the dribble to the end of the paint. Gives off to Hunter. Hunter out to Smith. Shot clock down to 19 seconds. Hale low post to Doherty. Doherty against Joseph. Doherty comes around, his shot is up, and a foul against Yvonne Joseph. Yvonne picks up his second with that one. Martin now checked back in for North Carolina, and Wolf will go out. Nope, uh, Hunter will go out. So three big guys in there for North Carolina as Hunter sits down. Doherty's two out of two from the free throw line today. Well, Doherty will go to the gift lane. He'll shoot two. Foul in the act of shooting by Yvonne Joseph. 44, 46, 44, Carolina by two. Doherty's first of two. In the air! Good boy, right, Carolina. In the first half, six out of six. In the second half, three out of three. They're nine straight from the charity stripe. The big difference in the game. Doherty's second of two. Good. 14 points for the old ACC center. 48, 44, Carolina by four. Clock ticks at 4, 49, remaining in a ball game. Mark Price on the attack. Mark Dibbles to the top of the key. Gets off to Dan Rebel on the left wing. Carolina in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Price out of the corner. Back to Dan Rebel. 15 footer. Good. Boy, Bruce is part of the range. In the second half, 10 points for Bruce. 48-46. And Bruce is keeping the Jackets in the ball game. On the dribble, Kenny Smith. That goes man to man. 48-46, Carolina. Clock kicks 422. On the clock in the ball game. On the right wing to Wolf. Wolf against Petway. Here's Hale, right of the key. Against Bruce Darrell. Bruce, they'll have to play with Terry at four first though. Low post to Big Warren Martin. Martin turns around. Cross court pass to Smith. Smith against Price. Low post to Doherty. Doherty, way on court to Hale. Shot clock down to 15. Low post to Joe Wolf. Wolf turn around, hook shot. Rolls around, no good. Rebounded by Sally. The Jackets can tie as they bring the ball down court in the backcourt. Here's Mark Price walking it down. 48, 46, Carolina. Mark six. 348 remaining in the championship thriller. So hang on, brother and sister. Here's Petway on the right wing. The right of the key to Sally. Sally left side to Bruce Darrell. Low post to Joseph. He turns around. His shot is up. And a foul on the play. Joseph will shoot two. It's on Martin. He's gone, but I don't think it is. Let's see. It's on Hale. Uh, Joseph going to the free throw line where he's four out of four today. 48-46. Can the big Haitian sensation tie it up? Time will tell. 3.36 on the clock in the ball game. A lot of time. 48 Carolina. 46 Georgia Tech. Championship game. 32nd annual ACC tournament championship. 
I think Yvonne got a little bit of a low shot there, and the ref stalled for him before he shot his free throw so he'd get his breath. All right, Joseph for his first of two. 6'11", senior. His free throw. Rules around and in. Hey, a lot of iron, and I mean a lot. <laughs> Rolling around and in, down in there. 48-47. Jackets trail by one. Second of two is good. Tie ball game again, fans. And there's a timeout on the playing court with a score. Georgia Tech, 48. North Carolina, 48. Clock show 336 remaining. You're listening. All righty, back at the Omni again. Here's the situation. North Carolina, Georgia Tech all tied at 48. It's the third tie of the game. It had been tied at 38, tied at 40, and now tied at 48. And North Carolina will have the ball here with 336 remaining. Tech is not shooting that well yet. Still 39%, 53% for North Carolina. Other than that statistic, if you took away that one and looked at all of the rest of them today, the turnovers and everything else, you'd say that Tech was out in front in this game. But it's been the shooting that's killed them. They've taken 46 shots compared to only 36 now for North Carolina. Ten more shots. And that's really made a difference. Carolina also is 10 out of 10 from the free throw line. Tech has missed two free throws. So who knows? Toss it up in the air now. 336, brand new ball game. In Bobby Kerman's words, it's a gutty ball club. And I think Bobby's depending on that Irish luck. <laughs> it's been with him all year. All right, Carolina on the attack. Clock ticks 334 remaining in a ball game. Tie game, fans. Oh, hang on. Here's Kenny Smith, picked up by Price. Tech stays in a man-to-man. -man. Kenny on the dribble to the left of the key. Now it goes back to the right of the key. Now back to the top of the key. Gets off the Hale long range. Hale against Bruce Dalrymple. Dalrymple with four fouls. Here's Hale cross court to Smith. Smith long range. Mark Honey. Shot clock down to 23 seconds. Kenny slowing the tempo down. Kenny on the dribble. Works to Brad Doherty who comes way out with Joseph on him. Doherty holding the ball high over his head. Uh, he dribbles one time. A very seldom dribble. Here's Hale. To Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith comes out on the right side. Shot clock down to nine seconds. Kenny passes. Knocked back in his hands by 25-footer by Smith. It's no good air ball. Good defense by Price. Joseph takes it out of the air to Dare Ripple. Now to Mark Price. 2.48 on the clock. Remaining in the ball game. Tie game 48-48. Now Mark Price slowing the tempo down. Carolina goes to the man-to-man -man defense on the left wing to Dare Ripple. He's had the hot hand here late in the second half. Here's Sally at the top of the key to Bruce Darrymple. Bruce out to Petway at the foul lane. Petway looking in to Bruce Darrymple. Darrymple on the dribble. The left of the key pulls up a 10-foot jumper by Darrymple. No good this time. And out of bounds and falling down goes Darrymple. Doherty, he's called for traveling. Out of bounds for Georgia Tech. They got a big break there, Brad. Yeah, they did, I think. Petway lost his balance. It wasn't his fault that there was a pileup, but Scott fell through it. And nine times out of ten, that call is going to be a foul on Petway. They called Doherty out of bounds. Turnover North Carolina. That could be a, a big, big one before this one's all over. They'll mop up the floor a little bit here, and Tech will have a fresh 45 and the ball on the baseline. Petway will inbound. Now, they've had trouble with this today. Petway way out to Price. Price is 20-footer in the air. No good. Rebounded by Warren Martin. Price had a 20-footer out of the corner and missed it. 48-48. Two minutes and 12 seconds. Through their brewing brother and sister, so hang on. We've got one at the Omni. We've had a lot of it at the Thriller Dome. Here's uh, Kenny Smith on the right wing. To Joe Wolf, the big boy. Shot clock down to 25 seconds. Wolf on the dribble to the right of the key. Gives out the hail. Hail on the right corner. Picked up by Darrymple. Pass intercepted. And then intercepted back by North Carolina. The Jackets had their hands on the basketball. Couldn't control it. Here's Kenny Smith. 144. Smith with nine seconds on the shot clock. Goes down the alley. His shot is up. No good. And a foul on the play. A blocking foul against the Jacket. Kenny Smith, the great free throw shooter, will go to the lane for two so far this year. Well, Hale's number one. Smith number two. And he's been hitting something like 87%. Foul on Yvonne Joseph is third. Oh, boy. What a year. What a ball game. And regardless of the outcome, hasn't this been a lot more fun than that foul-marred thing we had yesterday with the other officials? Right. Officials have been calling them close. They've been on top of the play. Smith for two at the gift lane. Tie ball game. 1.38 on the clock. Smith, first of two. Good. Boy, he is five out of five this afternoon. Carolina, yet to miss from the charity stripe. 11 straight free throws. Are the Jackets 
They've missed a few. Smith coming up for his second of two. Carolina by one. It's in the air. Good. So Carolina by two. The Jackets have their work cut out. 50-48 Carolina. 1.38 on the clock. Mark White walks it down. Passing a timeline. He looks to Bobby Crimmins on the left wing to Darrell Long Range. Darrell works the price in the corner. Price in that left corner out to Darrell. 1.24 on the clock. Carolina 50. Georgia Tech 40. Price is 20 footer. No good. Rebounded by Sally. Stick back by Sally. It's good. Price missed it. Sally on a stick back. Tie game. 50 50. One minute and 10 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's Kenny Smith on the dribble. Crowd roaring on every play, every pass. Wait over to Smith. Hale, Hale on the right side to Wolf. Long range. Wolf on the dribble. Stops the dribble. Low post. Joseph intercepts for Georgia Tech. And a foul against Carolina. Boy, the Omni's going crazy. Be a one and one. Yvonne to go to the free throw line. If he hits either of them, it'll be Tech's first lead. 50, 50, 52 seconds. The big Haitian sensation. Well, the pressure's on him. It's been on him all year. From the charity stripe today, six out of six. He's very emotional youngster. 27 years old. Let's watch him. His first of two is in the air. Good. 51-50, Georgia Tech, for the first time in a ball game, takes the lead. Joseph, second of two, big one coming up, it's in the air! No good, rebounded by Sally, Sally to Joseph, 50 seconds on the clock, Tech 51, Carolina 50, Tech will be in a one-on-one -on, -one on a foul, here's Mark Price way out court, Mark on the dribble, 40 seconds remaining in the ball game, to Darrell, shot clock down to 32 seconds. Bruce Darrell way out, 51-50 jacket. Darrell to Price. Price on the dribble. Price goes down the top of the key, pulls up worse over to Joseph. Joseph to Price. 28 seconds on the time clock. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Mark Price on the dribble goes all the way. Passing his time. And a foul is called on the play. Mark Price will go to the lane for the one-on-one. -on -one. Second win it, maybe right here. Got their best foul shooter on the line. Well, in the last two days, he's hit 16 out of 16. Let's see if Bobby's Irish luck goes with him. 12 points for Mark Bright. The one and one. Tech 51, North Carolina 50. 22 seconds on the clock remaining in the ball game. Let's watch Bright. A big one and one. All right, the Jackets have two men back, one and one for Mark Price. Price set. Free throw by Price. Good. 13 points for Price. 52-50. Kenny can the next one. If he does the bonus, the Jackets will be in good shape with 22 seconds on the clock. The bonus for Price. It's in the air. Good. 14 for Price. Tech 53. Carolina 50. Timeout in the playing court. 53-50 Jackets. Let's keep it here, Brad, with 22 seconds on the clock. Tech didn't have a lead until the 52-second mark. Yvonne Joseph hit one of two and then made a big, big play defensively on the other end. Yvonne Joseph with a big play on the other end. That got Tech the ball back. They worked it down time-wise. Mark Price drove the lane, was fouled, and he hit both free throws. And now it's Tech by three. North Carolina, remember, led by 11 points in the first half. Dean Smith is 9-2 in an ACC title game. Carolina's won 9 of the last uh, 18 ACC tournaments. They have 10 tournament total championships. They're 36-14 and 14 in ACC play under Dean Smith. And the new kid on the block might be ready to pull one off. Dr. Pettit's making his way down to the court as the Georgia Tech president smells victory. The crowd behind us going crazy. Tech up by three, and Al, Bobby Kremen said it in the locker room before the game, courage is the quality that produces all others. And there's enough guts on that Yellow Jacket team to fill the whole Omni. Maybe they're going to do it. I know a lot of fans don't like the word guts, but Bobby uses it all the time. He wants that gutty play all the time. And I'll tell you something. If there's going to be a fight, I wouldn't mind having the guys that are over there on the Tech bench, no matter how many else. We're against us. I think it all started, uh, Steve, when 
a New York fighter, and that's what he is. Bobby Crimmins recruited a pure shooter out of the state of Oklahoma in Mark Price. So now what has to happen for North Carolina, they have 22 seconds left. They've got to bring it all the way down the floor. They've got to do that as quickly as they can, hope to score, and then immediately foul somebody on Georgia Tech. So this one isn't over yet. A lot of time left, really, 22 seconds, because North Carolina's going to go down. They're probably going to get a fairly easy shot, too, because Tech doesn't want to foul anybody. So immediately they're going to foul Tech, and somebody's going to have to go to the free throw line and make a one and one Tech has one foul to go. And uh, let's see. No, that's right. There's seven and seven. Both teams on 17 fouls. Mark Price is dogging Kenny Smith. Pass into Wolf. Clock ticks down to 20 seconds. Here's Smith driving to the right of the key. Drives that baseline 10-foot jumper. Good. Kenny Smith. Boy, brother and sister. 14 seconds. Now Carolina wants a timeout with a score. Georgia Tech, 53. North Carolina, 52. You never count Dean Smith out. I've seen him win a ball game with seven seconds on the clock and down by six. He did one earlier this year against Maryland where there didn't seem to be any opportunity whatsoever. And then again in another ball game, SMU had North Carolina's number. It looked like they'd win by 15. Ended up being a two-point ball game, and you have to thank Dean Smith's coaching for that. And we're going to stay right here at the Omni because there will be more commercial breaks upcoming when this one's over, and there'll be more next week in the NCAA Tournament Championship. Georgia Tech, where will they play? Well, we won't know until later on this afternoon. But right now, they're 14 seconds away from pulling a stunner. I don't know if they can do it, but they're still up by one point with 14 to play. Steve? Law of averages dictates now that uh, North Carolina foul John Sally. He's the worst free throw shooter out there. Uh, Petway 70%, Joseph 71%, Dalrymple 70%, Price of course 85%, and Sally 63%. Sally will be the man that'll inbound, so they'll have trouble. It'll take at least one pass, and they, they may not get it in his hands. Well, they've got to be careful too not to foul before the ball comes in, because then that's a two-shot foul. But of course, the strategy, Bobby, his strategy will try to get that ball into Mark Price. On the other hand, Dean Smith will try to deny Mark Price a basketball. If it's a five-second call, it goes to North Carolina. Right from the end zone, too. Now Carolina picks up Tech all over the court. Sally will be your trigger man from the end zone. And we've got another timeout for North Carolina as Dean wanted to see the way that Georgia Tech was going to line up on that play. Let's pause. Up and down the network, you're listening to the WGST Georgia Tech Basketball Network. Hey, Cab. Bob Hope. Hi. You better put on these earmuffs to drown out the engine knocks. 50. Hey, you don't need earmuffs. You need star power. Texaco Star Power, the higher octane in Texaco Super Unleaded that can help knock out the knocks. Hey, Cab. Hello again, Mr. Hope. You know, the engine's so quiet now, I can tell you some of my jokes. You still have those earmuffs? City streets are a mean place to work, but nothing stops the all-new rugged Isuzu one-ton, suitable for van delivery bodies. When you buy Isuzu, you get big truck features, a diesel which delivers 60% greater fuel mileage and a shorter turning radius for better maneuverability. Always look to General GMC for the best value in any truck. And now you have the real truck from Isuzu to make your selection even more complete. General GMC Memorial Drive, exit I-20 at Boulevard. The name you can depend on, General GMC. Back again at the Omni now. It's 14 seconds. That's all that remains in this one. 53-52. Tech out in front. Here's the situation. Tech's got it. They've got to come all the way down court with it with the one-point lead. We know that they're going to foul somebody. North Carolina will. They call the timeout after they scored on a Kenny Smith basket. Then they set up the offense. Tech did. They called another timeout. North Carolina did. Now, here they come back out on the floor again for the final 14 seconds. We know someone's going to be fouled. Somebody's going to have to make a one-and-one one here. All right, let's watch Sally. Kenny Smith. Nichols telling the camera people to back up, give Sally room in case he wants to run on the baseline. All right, Kenny Smith on Mark Price. Sally passing in a Petway. Petway on the dribble. Gives off to Price. Price on the dribble, double team. Up court pass to Joseph. Joseph over to Price. Clock's not running. Clock's not running with 14 seconds. And here's Price going all the way and fouled on the play. 
The clock never started running. The clock said 14 seconds. They drove all the way down, no, and it didn't start. And this is going to be a tough calculation. This happened the other day. And at this stage, it's very, very important. Tech had at least six extra seconds in the backcourt because they had to hustle to get across the timeline. They have that little clock going on in their head. They know that they had to get it across the timeline. So thus, they, if there should be maybe, well, they're going to put it down to eight and leave it at eight, I guess. Well, I think Tech, I think this is where they ought to go to the television right now. They ought to go to the television replay right here and count that thing down. Well, the pressure goes on. Georgia they, Tech, you guessed it, Mark Price. They can very easily go to the television, get a replay on that ball after it was thrown in, and count the number of seconds that went by. And I imagine the TV had the second clock all set with the time on the television, but you can't do that well, because I think there's, that is the game the officials and the official timers have got to run a ball game. Well, they've done it before, though, in the NCAAs. They've gone to the TV on different things like that. There's going to be less than eight seconds left, but that's the compromise time. Price with 14 points. He will shoot to one and one. Price's free throw. In the air. Cut. 54, 52. Fort with eight seconds remaining. All of he can this one. It should be just about over. So let's watch Mark Price. His second bonus is good. Brother, that is called pressure shooting. 55, 52. Terrible intercept. Bruce goes all the way into the corner. He's contained in the foul by Joe Wolf. Terrible foul by Wolf. And Joseph is really hugging Bruce Terrible. Look at the jubilation on the tech bench. Mark Price has just about collapsed with Scott Petway. They got some low fives going on over here in front of us. Joseph and Price. There hasn't been a team beat North Carolina three times in one year since 1974 when North Carolina State did it. But Georgia Tech is going to pull the miracle and win the ACC championship. How about it, huh? All right, Bruce will go to the lane. Two seconds. Bobby wants all four players to go back. He doesn't want anybody to touch anybody. 54, 55, 52, Tech by three. Bryce canning the two free throws. Amazing youngster. Darable will shoot at the gift line. His free throw. Good. He may be the most valuable player in this tournament, Al. He's had nine points in this second half. He's had three games that are unbelievable. Darable, second of two. In the air. Rolls around and in. Good. With the score. 57 to 52. A long pass. Jordy's buddy is up and in. It counts. 57 54. Georgia Tech wins the 1985 ACC tournament, the 32nd annual. And brother and sister, tremendous ball game as Price hit four free throws. And the last four big ones, Joseph hit two big ones. So the Jackets won it from the charity stripe. You're listening to the WGSC Georgia Tech Basketball Network. When you stay in those big-name expensive hotels, you pay dearly for that big comfortable room, color TV, pool, nice restaurants. It adds up fast. But if you stay in a day's inn, you'll get that big comfortable room, color TV, pool, and restaurant for an inexpensive price. At day's end, think day's in nationwide. Call 800-325-2525. That's 800-325-2525. Day's in inexpensive, but not cheap. Okay, car owners, you want it, you got it, with AutoShore, the professional auto parts people. Castrol GTX, your car's smaller engine has to rev higher, work harder. That can break down an oil's viscosity within only 1,500 miles. Test-proof Castrol motor oil suffers no significant breakdown even after 5,000 miles. Castrol GTX, Castrol, the motor oil engineered for smaller cars. Where is AutoShore? AutoShore is everywhere with over 140 auto parts stores throughout the southeast. See your yellow pages for the one nearest you. Hawaii. 
Hawaii, enchanting island paradise. No wonder everyone wants to go there. Delta Airlines makes it easy with a through flight to Honolulu. Leave any morning, you're there that afternoon, and soon it'll be even faster. Starting June 1st, Delta will fly from Atlanta nonstop to Honolulu. Delta makes Hawaii a bargain paradise, too, with a dream vacation from only $649 per person double occupancy. Here's what you get. Round trip Delta fare, seven nights at a selected hotel in Honolulu, airport transfers, and much more. Here's a bonus, too. For just $119 more, you can spend three of your nights in one of Hawaii's neighbor islands, and that includes airfare. So see your travel agent or call Delta for details and reservations. It's time to stop dreaming about Hawaii and start enjoying it. Just one stop now, beginning June 1st, nonstop. Well, here at the Omni, Georgia Tech has won the ACC championship. You hear the Bruce Dalrymple call go up as he goes up to take a snip off of the basket. All of the Georgia Tech players taking their opportunity now to go up and snip off some of the basket as a souvenir from the ACC championship. Scott Petway going up there now, and we're going to try to pick up the award ceremonies here out on the floor. We've got our crack engineer on the scene, Mike Lawing, trying to find enough wire to get, a <laughs> to get us out to the middle of the floor here at the Omni, but Tech has won it 57 to 54. Can you believe it? They were down by as many as 11 in the early going, 14 to 3. Never got on track early. They were down 2 nothing, 4 nothing, 6 nothing. Finally got a basket with 315 gone in the first half and then tried to recover from there. Got it down to 5-6, five, 5-6, six, five, six, something like that all the way along. And then finally tied it at 38-38. Then it was tied at 40, tied at 48. Then Tech finally took the lead at 51-50 after another tie and then took it from there. They opened it up and win it going away 57-54 today over North Carolina. Tech had been favored by one point coming into this one now. Right, uh, Steve. Mark Price hit the last four free throws in the ball game. Price hit in the ball game six out of six free throws to go with a 14 yesterday. So he was 20 out of 20 in pressure situations. So you got to hand it to the youngster. He put Tech out in front, as you remember, by canning the one and one uh, to make it 53-50. And then, uh, boy, from then on, it was something. Well, let's see if we can go right out there now. Perry Clark was there with Brad for a moment. We're going to be going over there for the award ceremony. Let's right now take a break on the WGST Georgia Tech Basketball Network. We're back with Bruce Dalrymple at uh, the Omni. Congratulations, Bruce, the ACC champion. Yeah, I'm so enthused about it, excited about it. You know, it's not going to hit me until the night, you know, but it was a great game in Carolina play, one of the best games that I've seen them play all year. And, you know, we, was, we were fortunate to beat them three times. You had a tremendous second half, and uh, first half you didn't look like you did the last two days. There you go. You got to go. All right, Bruce Dalrymple, as we have to lose Bruce to a good cause over there, and uh, Al, Steve, we'll give it back to you. We'll come back to the court in a minute. All righty, we'll do that, Brad. And uh, right now, Bruce Dalrymple getting his championship. They're going down the list of the Georgia Tech players. <laughs> the Skeeter just said Antonio Ford. Antonio Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine Ford. And each player will be introduced. And again, point scoring for Georgia Tech. Sally had 14. Petway, 2. Joseph, 14. Mark Price, high with 16. And Dalrymple, 11. And you can see they had balanced scoring. Uh, among the four youngsters, Dalrymple, Price, Joseph, and Sally. The awards presentation continues for the championship team here at Georgia Tech. The crowd all hanging around. You can tell how many Georgia Tech fans are here right now by the number of people here. Don Sally being introduced to the crowd right now. Dwayne Farrell. Dwayne Farrell in street clothes, of course, getting his... Farrell's moving pretty good. <laughs> Craig Neal comes up to get his. He missed the season. He's going to be disappointed. But he'll be back for three more years. David Worthington, head manager and a great young man. Now they're working into the Georgia Tech trainers, Coach McDonald. Assistant coaches, 
George Nelson. Now the assistant coaches. Bobby will get an ovation from this crowd, just Steve. Perry Clark. It's Perry Clark. Jimmy Hebron. Perry Clark, Jimmy Hebron being introduced. Rich Brown. Student assistant coach, Rich Brown. Bobby Here's Bobby Simmons. Ovation for the Irishman from New York. Steve, you know about the luck of the Irishman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I hope we haven't used it all up here, though. We've still got another uh, several weeks of this to go. Crowd yelling, Bobby. Bobby. We've heard that before this year, too. Athletic director Homer Wright. Of the Georgia Tech team, they want uh, Sally and Price to come forward to receive the 32nd annual ACC Tournament Championship plaque. All right, why don't we take a quick break? We'll come back, see if Brad can grab some of them after they get their plaques on the WGST Georgia Tech Basketball Network. We're back again now at the Omni, and let's go out onto the floor. I can't see Brad, but I think he's got but somebody out there. Something was wrong with him, but his second half play was incredible. Well, there's a lot of stomachs Bobby that have Kerman. butterflies in it in the city of Atlanta. I know how proud everybody is of you. I'm just really happy and proud of this team. We 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 got to get ready now for the NCAA. Any preference where you go, who you play, any of that no, stuff? No, we'll just play. We'll just play. All right, you beat North Carolina three times this season, Bobby. That's that's quite a milestone in itself. It, it's unbelievable. It's just absolutely unbelievable that we won this basketball game in front of this crowd in this type of situation. ACC champions got a nice ring to it. It's unbelievable. All right, thanks, All right, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. Head coach Bobby Cremens of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and really worried don't describe what's going on among these people and I think uh, all of us in the broadcast crew kind of feel the same way. Steve and Al, I'll give it back to you. All right, Brad, we'll see if Brad can find somebody else over there now and uh, we'll get to them too, but it's an exciting time, Al. Mark Price, the most valuable player of the tournament. Mark uh, was a high scorer along with Kenny Smith in the tournament. Mark in the tournament had 16 points today, so he ends in three ball games. He picks up 50 points, and uh, Kenny Smith in three ball games picks up 50 points. But Mark Price, a member of the all-tournament team, and uh, also the most valuable player in the 32nd annual ACC Tournament Championship. <laughs> Berman Bishop just went by. It's another routine victory. <laughs> well, that's about all here. We better prepare for the locker room show. Steve. Okay, that sounds like, hey, why don't we take a break? We never did get a station identification in there. Let's do that quickly on the WGST Good Georgia Tech fun. Basketball Network. I'm Bruce Williams, and money's the subject. Weeknights 8 to 10. Please call me right here at WGST Atlanta. Stand by now for the locker room. For